Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the most terrifying injuries ever seen in MMA. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. Every MMA fight has the potential to end in a horrific way, given the nature of violence in each fight. The brutal shots to another fighter's head can cause severe damage in a referee stoppage. For this video, we have compiled a list of instances where MMA fighters suffered some terrifying injuries that caused viewers to lose their minds. We have made a version of this video before, so we haven't included ones we put in those previous videos. Number 12 Kazushi Sakuraba Every MMA fan can agree that Sakuraba's MMA career must have been one of the most torturous ones. And Sakuraba gets backed up again. The hand speed of Zoromsk is too much, and he sprawls as Sakuraba went for the single leg. An early strike saw Sakuraba's right cauliflower ear begin to bleed, and moments later, when the veteran lunged in for a takedown, Marius Zaromsky shoved his head down to defend, the ear was caught again and somehow it ripped away from Sakuraba's head completely. No shocker at all, the fight was called off immediately and Sakuraba had become the victim of one of the goriest injuries in MMA history. Number 11 Mike Perry Going forward, falls Mike Perry backwards. Leaping forward knee there for Luke. Just as we expected. Mike Perry threw down against the Brazilian striker Vicente Luque at UFC Fight Night 156. Unfortunately for Perry, he was on the receiving end of a flying knee that completely mangled his nose. Being the warrior that Mike Perry is, he carried on fighting and made it all the way to the final bell, eventually losing a split decision against Luque. He required surgery to get his nose reconstructed and returned to action just four months later. Number 10 Abdul Malik The pair engaged in a clinch with Nerzhanov, performing a throw that saw Sadulayev awkwardly land on his arm. Before Nerzhanov could work from a dominant position, Sadulayev immediately screamed in anguish as he clutched his arm which looked badly broken or dislocated. To his credit, Nerzhanov showed great sportsmanship as he noticed the injury and withheld from hitting his stricken opponent. He looked in genuine shock as he walked away from Sadulayev with his hands on his head. Number 9 Derek Anderson Derek Anderson felt the full force of Michael Page's powerful kick after having his nose brutally broken. Oh, oh, kick. Michael Venom Page becomes the first person to stop Derek Anderson. The scrap lasted just one round when Page unleashed his left foot square in the face of Anderson. With his guard down, it caught him flush on the nose causing the 31 year old to stumble to the canvas. He managed to get back to his feet and saw it out until the end of the round, but the ringside physician determined his nose was in no fit shape to continue. He certainly had a point with images showing Anderson's nose flattened and brutally broken. Number 8 Alan Gray This kick was so insane that it caused the fighter on the receiving end to straight up lose his eye. Okay, it was a prosthetic eye, but still. That dislodged Gray's prosthetic eye and sent it rolling around the canvas as he hit the floor. The referee jumped in to stop the fight and almost stood on the false eye. A stunned Gray eventually got to his feet with his right eye closed. Critics have questioned how Gray was allowed to fight with a sight handicap that limited his perception of depth. Number 7 Salvador Becerra Milko Tukto and Salvador Becerra locked horns in the quarterfinals of the tournament in Lima, but the lightweight contest ended abruptly in the first round. <laughs> Tukto picked up his opponent and sought about slamming him right on the canvas. He was successful in doing so, but as Becerra tried to soften his fall by extending his arm out, the weight of Tukto caused it to completely snap with a sickening impact. Number 6 Tamika Brands Fallon Fox, the first MMA fighter to come out as transgender, once fractured the skull of her opponent in an MMA fight in 2014. <laughs> Fox was challenging Tamika Brents at CCCW event, where Brents received seven staples to her head and also suffered a concussion. 
she was overpowered by Fox to an extent that even the orbital bone inside her skull was fractured. Number 5. Khetak Pilev Pilev took on Devin Goodale in the co-main event on UFC Fight Pass and amazingly, he lost his finger during the fight. Like he ripped his finger off. Is it gone at that point? Where's the finger? Well, listen, Devin Goodale has got a... Uh and when we say he lost his finger, we mean it quite literally. The fight was waved off immediately, giving the 4-0 Goodell the win, and it began frantically searching for Pilev's finger. The damage was done by a series of kicks from Devin. That's what originally damaged the finger, and it was the grappling exchanges that followed that detached it. Number 4, Jokai Souza. He's back. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Come here. Oh, Jokai Souza. Oh my there. goodness. Stop, stop, stop. He's there. Oh! Oh, you can hear it. Andre Muniz got Souza's back, but his hips were too high and they went to the ground. Muniz transitioned quickly from attempting a triangle to an armbar. He pulled back and Souza's arm loudly snapped, audible to those around the cage and watching on TV. But showing how much of a warrior he was, Souza walked out with a smile. Number 3, Eduardo Dantes. This one was uh, 30 seconds, a minute, I'd have to go back and look. McDonald set him up with a kick, knocked him down, but it was this swarm. And later, we got the rest of An attempted knee to the abdomen was followed up by a brutal right hand that sent the Brazilian crashing to the canvas. McDonald, who put himself forward as a genuine bantamweight title contender with the win, broke his left hand, but Dantes' fate was far worse. He suffered what looked like a horrific broken bone after his right leg twisted under the weight of his own body when he was floored by Michael McDonald's right hook. Number 2 Conor McGregor The MMA superstar went under the knife in July after breaking his left leg in his UFC 264 trilogy fight with Dustin Poirier. McGregor shattered his tibia and fibula in the closing moments of the first round of the Sin City series decider. The Irishman, Conor McGregor's coach John Kavanaugh had revealed more details about his fighter's gruesome broken leg, saying the Irishman sustained the injury when he kicked Dustin Poirier's elbow late in the first round, causing it to be worse after he tried to step on it. Number 1 Chris Weidman In one of the most gruesome injuries in UFC history, Uriah Hall checked the kick from Chris Weidman that shattered the right leg of the former middleweight champion that Saturday night at UFC 261. The sad irony of the situation is that Weidman scored a similar victory over Anderson Silva in their 2013 middleweight title rematch that left the former champion sidelined for a full year. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, please let us know how we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.